All right, welcome to Creator Hardware, and well, what do you do when you got a bunch of old PC parts lying around? You build a server. What I'm gonna be building is a Unraid server. Um, I'm gonna show in the next video how to set up Unraid. But the point of this video is so I have a test system to be able to screw with stuff that I don't wanna be doing on my main Unraid server because that one does work. <laughs> Currently data mining, old videos on it for TikToks. <laughs> so don't wanna have my archives down so I can't put that content out on TikTok. So don't wanna mess with it too much and break it. Because I've already brought, broke a Proxmox install, so we're gonna do a test system. Now I'm gonna be building it in this Thermaltake case. I got 64 gigs of ECC registered memory. Now the CPU I'm gonna be using is a used Xeon. It is a E52697A V4. Now I can no longer find this CPU on Amazon, but I'm sure you can probably find it on eBay or whatever. They're cheap. Now the motherboard I'm gonna be using is a Machinist X99 micro ATX board uh, for that CPU. Now a lot of people are probably gonna be questioning the graphics card. Why am I putting a GTX 1660 Ti in here? Well, it's been sitting on my desk since I took it out of my kid's gaming PC. Now I did order a basic Quadro NVS 295. Unfortunately, it only came with a short back plate, so I can't use it in this case. This has been sitting around forever, so if it goes in a server, cool. I've got other graphics cards as evidenced by the 3080 Ti above my head. <laughs> so let's get to building it.
Change of plans. I was going to use this as a cache drive. Unfortunately, I don't have a, well, extra power plug for it without getting a Molex adapter, which I don't have here. So we're going to go ahead and put in a cache drive of this 512 megabyte SATA M.2 drive. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get it posted and make sure all the drives show up and all that kind of good stuff. But let's talk about Unraid for a quick second. That's the operating system I'm going to run on this system. Now, Unraid runs off of a thumb drive. Most people are just going to plug it into the computer somewhere and have it hanging off. That is an incredibly bad idea. <laughs> I have cats. <laughs> I've got kids. I mean, my kids are adults, but you know, it's still, it's really easy for something like this to get unplugged, damaged, or something like that. So my main Unraid server and this one will be using an adapter. Now this goes from a USB header on the motherboard to the thumb drive. So the thumb drive is internal to the case. You don't have to worry about it getting accidentally pulled out, broken, etc. You can just kind of set it and forget it. And all it does is plug into a motherboard header and then you plug the USB drive in there and you run on RAID. Well, fun part starts now. <laughs> it's, it's not posting. <laughs> It is posted. <laughs> For some reason, screen capture is not working. <laughs> so let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Point you at the screen. Unfortunately, my screen capture doesn't want to work. I'm missing a couple drives, but it does boot. So I'm gonna have to do some troubleshooting. The power button doesn't work, so I had to unplug everything for some reason. It might be the case. I don't know. It does boot, but I gotta do some diagnosis. So next week, hopefully, <laughs> or it'll be a troubleshooting video, one of the two, but I got to figure out why the hard drives aren't showing up and all that, but kind of out of time. I got to do some stuff. So, so just a quick note, um, diagnosing the system found I had a bad SATA cable, which is why one of the drives wasn't showing up. It took me a few minutes to diagnose, but just a bad SATA cable. The case power switch not working was something to do with the plug. I've unplugged it, plugged it back in. It worked fine. So I guess it got pulled out when I was building it. You may also have noticed I had some Seagate drives in there as well. That was a mistake. I just grabbed the wrong drives. <laughs> they have archive footage on them, but I'll swap them out for the HDSTs. But system posts, for some reason, my capture wouldn't work. It worked on every other system I've done that method on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Look next week for the Unraid setup video. And then I've got a special closet server project that this will be part of. So get subscribed if you want to see that. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.